Revelation chapter 13 describes the latter part of the fourth kingdom in more detail. The first 10 verses in Revelation 13 describe the earlier parts of the Roman Empire. The latter part of the chapter will describe the United States and the European powers. It says in Revelation 13, And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. In the book of Daniel, the prophet, he wrote a dream he once had of four great beasts who came out of the sea, all different from each other. The first was like a lion, and the second was like a bear, and the third was like a leopard, and the fourth beast was dreadfully indescribable. Revelation 13 verse 2 is showing the fourth beast in Daniel's writing. Continuing, it says, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power to the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. The beast, via the power of the dragon, blasphemed the Godhead, his authority and covenant, that's his name, his tabernacle, his people, and all that dwell in heaven the ancestors and those to come. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given to him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. And here is the patience and the faith of the saints. This is going, this is again speaking of the latter portion of the Roman Gentile rule. To put a date on it, this is from 300 BC to 1450s AD. These are the seven heads and the 10 horns or the 10 toes in the book of Daniel. All of these fall under conquering to conquer the first of the seals.